Every business has different objectives. It's good to know exactly what you want to achieve online, as it can help you set the right priorities and put your plan into place. Let's hear from Rachel, the owner of Rachel's Kitchen, about how setting clear goals helped when starting her online business. Starting an online business is daunting. We're all used to using the internet from a consumer perspective, but in terms of starting an online business, it can be difficult to know where to begin. I looked at some clear goals, for example, identifying customer profiles. For example, a guy wanting to send cupcakes to be delivered to his girlfriend for Valentine's Day or to his mum for Mother's Day. Once I identified customer profiles, I could then set about creating adware campaigns that specifically targeted the terms that that customer profile would look for, for example, with the Valentine's Day cupcakes. There are lots of ways that digital can help your business, such as building relationships on social networks, selling online, maybe finding new customers, or even keeping existing ones. It's good to start by asking yourself a simple question. Why, exactly, do you want to be online? Imagine you own a hair salon. Your ultimate goals could be to cut more people's hair, sell more premium services, and sell more of the products that you offer. But before anyone can walk through your door, they have to know you exist. This is a great goal that digital can help with. So let's start with that one, getting the word out in the digital world. One easy win is listing your business in local online directories. So when people look for hairdressers on search engines or online maps, your business will show up. Then you might decide to build a website to share your information about your business. This could be things like your opening hours, your location, your prices, and the services that you offer. Maybe even photos and videos that could entice new customers to walk through your door. You could even set up a social media page like on Facebook or Google+, or even Twitter, where you could post photos and creations, offer special deals, and really connect with your customers. As you start achieving these goals and more people become aware of you, your goals may naturally evolve and you might want to shift your focus towards turning visitors into paying customers. You could also add new features to your site, things like online appointment scheduling, Maybe a review section where people can say nice things about you. Or even an e-commerce store to sell your hair and beauty products online. Now that you're using digital to attract visitors and turn them into customers, you could start expanding your business by investing in online advertising. Whatever your ultimate digital goals are or where you currently stand, your priorities will change naturally and grow with your business. Now, to make sure you're meeting your objectives, it's really important to measure your progress along the way. This is called analytics. Analytics lets you know what's working well and what can be tweaked. We'll dive into this a little bit more later. But with digital, you have lots of options for measuring success. So, just a reminder, before you dive into the digital world, Think about exactly what you'd like to achieve, then prioritize different online opportunities to help you accomplish those goals. In the next few videos, we'll help you look at different ways that you can establish a digital presence, think about different ways to market yourself online, and lastly, understand how you can measure and improve your digital endeavors.